Among the things that make the Earth hospitable to life is the atmosphere, which is rich in nitrogen. But why? <laughs> Hey everyone, Amy here for Dean News, breathing this lovely, life-supporting air we have on Earth. The chemical composition of the air that sustains all life on Earth is due in large part to photosynthesis. For millions of years, plants have been removing carbon dioxide from the air and replacing it with oxygen. But only about a fifth of our atmosphere is oxygen. The rest is largely nitrogen, the source of which has been a mystery. But geoscientists from the Carnegie Institute of Washington have a possible explanation, and it all comes down to plate tectonics. The theory of plate tectonics says that the Earth's upper most layer, called the lithosphere, is divided into seven plates, all of which move relative to one another. When they collide, they change the global landscape, forming mountain ridges, rearranging continents, and sometimes even pushing each other deeper into the planet, a process called subduction. When the ocean's crust is subducted in this way, it often releases volatile elements containing nitrogen into the rock above it. Buried in the Earth's crust, that nitrogen tends to form ammonium ions that are readily incorporated into solid silicate minerals, and among the most abundant materials on the planet. And under the right conditions and in the presence of compounds containing oxygen, these ammonium molecules can break down into water and nitrogen. So here's where the other part of the puzzle comes in. Active volcanoes don't just vent hot ash and molten rock when they erupt. They also vent a significant amount of gases that would otherwise stay locked in the Earth's depths. And it turns out that volcanoes near active plate tectonics vent more nitrogen than any other gas. This goes a long way in explaining why the Earth alone has a nitrogen-rich atmosphere, at least in our solar system. Neither Mars nor Venus have active plate tectonics like our own planet has, and they just have a trace of nitrogen to show for this inactivity. So how do you guys think this link between plate tectonics and our atmosphere will change the way we look for life on other planets? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more D-News every day of the week.